And for our last example, we have one more cyclic molecule to name. This one is going to be fun. So here, it, this molecule is also a cyclic, and when we are choosing the parent chain for this molecule, our choices are to look at the ring, that is a four carbon chain, or to look at the carbon atoms chains that are not part of the ring, that is a one, two, three, four, five carbon chain. So for this molecule, the longest carbon chain is right here. That's our parent chain, which means that this is our substituent. So what is that guy's name? Well, that is a four carbon substituent. And if we look at this list, four carbons as a substituent is butyl, but the four carbon substituent butyl would just be a straight continuous chain of four carbon atoms, which is not what we have. We have a ring. The four carbon sub ring substituent is called not butyl, but cyclobutyl. Again, we're going to use that prefix to indicate that the atoms are in a ring. Um, what about its location? Let's look at our longest carbon chain and number. Our goal is to give our recyclobutyl group the smallest possible number, which means that we want to start numbering right there. That's our carbon number one, two, three, four, five. And now we're ready to put this molecule's name together. First, we say the location and the name of our substituent. It is one cyclobutyl. And then now we say the name of our parent chain. We haven't seen a five carbon parent chain for a while, so let's go back to our list and look. Five carbon parent chain is called a pentane. Sometimes students think if there's only one substituent, like in this case, if there's only one substituent um, and it's on carbon number one, the one doesn't need to be there. So sometimes people want to call it cyclopentane. And you cannot do that. That's not allowed because if you don't say the location of that cyclobutyl group, how do you not know that it's located right there? It could be located right there. Or how do you not know that it is located right there? And you might be saying, well, if it was there, I would call it three cyclobutyl. And you're right, you would. But you can not ever assume that other people know what you are trying to imply if you leave a number off. So we never leave these numbers off. Always include them.